Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of Electronic Magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a premium mid-size sedan from BMW, the 520i Luxury and the subcompact SUV from Nissan, the Kicks e-Power, plus a feature feature comparison of two pickups, the Ford Ranger Wild Track 4x4 AT versus the Isuzu D-Max LSE 4x4 AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk everything about brakes, and together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the 2023 Autofocus Summer Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we're right back after this short break. Into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode with Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from BMW. This car review takes a look at the BMW 520i Luxury the German auto brand's entry to the premium mid-size sedan segment. The BMW 520i is the German brand's entry to the premium mid-size sedan segment. The latest upgrade and refresh of the BMW 520i arrived last year with what authorized local SMC Asia Car Distributors Corp president Spencer Yu described its features usually found on higher tiers of the luxury car market. It may sound like cliche, but BMW's mid-size sedan can only be described as sleek and sporty, as well as stately and elegant. At 4,963mm long, 1,868mm wide, and 1,479mm tall, and with a 2,975mm long wheelbase, only one variant was made available, the 520i Luxury, which came with only one engine option, a four-cylinder turbocharged gasoline engine. There's a lot to like in the refreshed exterior of the new BMW 520i, starting with the wider and taller twin kidney grille flanked by slim headlights. The adaptive LED headlights don't only look good with a blue edging, but they also feature a high beam assistant and an adaptive quartering function. It also comes with LED fog lights. The rear also looks elegant and sporty with a black edging to the L-shaped combination lamps and rear apron with twin free-form tailpipes. The 18-inch alloy wheels don't just look good, they are also shot in 245-45 R18 run-flat tires. The new 520i comes with what BMW calls the Comfort Access System, which offers a very convenient way to lock and unlock the vehicle, and the simplicity of loading and unloading items into the boot with a kick function. There's a lot to like in the 520i interior, starting off with the Dakota leather seats, complemented by the dash with Sensatec leather, fine wood interior trim, pearl chrome finish, and the velour floor mats. Ambit lighting enhances the whole luxurious feel of the BMW 520i. And there's a lot to the cabin beyond the ambiance and four-zone automatic air conditioning. The driver and front passenger seats adjust electronically with the driver getting the benefits of a lumbar support and memory function. Aside from power windows, there is also the electric roller sun blind for the rear window. Comfort is not the only thing enhanced by innovation in the 520i. 
i530i features what is called the BMW Live Cockpit Professional, which uses a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster display to provide vehicle information to the driver and another to the 12.3-inch touchscreen display for infotainment, navigation, and smartphone connectivity. Many engine and other functions can also be controlled via the iDrive touch controller. That is not to mention the multifunction buttons on the sport leather steering wheel. Smart connectivity is compatible with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Audiophiles would also love that the BMW 520i comes with Harman Kardon surround sound system. Underneath the hood of the BMW 520i is a 1998cc 4-cylinder with twin power turbo technology that generates 184 PS and 290Nm of torque. Made into an 8-speed Septronic transmission that drives the rear wheels, the engine can take the BMW 520i from 0 to 100 km per hour in 7.9 seconds. Top speed is rated at 235 km per hour. BMW always touts the sheer driving pleasure offered by all vehicles with the iconic kidney grille. And those performance numbers only to serve to show that the 520i is essentially an executive saloon is a pleasure to drive. It comes with much of the advanced BMW developed for driving dynamics, fuel efficiency, and safety. Drivers can choose modes depending on want or need, sport, comfort, Eco Pro, and adaptive. Automatic start-stop functions help save on fuel and stop-and-go traffic. Cruise control with braking function makes it very convenient to keep within speed limits on busy highways. Rear cameras, parking assistance, park distance control make it quite convenient to park. ABS and dynamic stability control are standard. Active protection detects and warns against driving fatigue. Crash sensor can autonomously prepare for a car collision. Added for safety are multiple airbags, side impact protection, Isofix child seat mounting, automatic door locking, passive protection for pedestrians. All this told, the BMW 520i lives up to its billing as the embodiment of style and practicality in a very intuitive premium business sedan. SMC Asia Cars believes that the BMW 520i with a comprehensive 5-year, 200,000km warranty is immensely competitive at its price point of 4.49 million pesos. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track, and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu invited members of the motoring media to a group test drive to showcase advanced features of the refreshed D Max and UX. The test drive included a road trip through regular traffic from Pampanga to Tarlac then to Zambales and runs through specially designed on-pavement and off-road courses to experience the advanced safety and driver assist features and 4x4 capabilities of the new D-MAX and UX. We are here right now at the new community in Tarak to put the test Isuzu's Advanced Driver Assist System, or the ADAS. Our media and the influencer group will be driving the new Isuzu D-MAX and the Isuzu Muex in a controlled facility highlighting feature like the forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring, which are features that are relevant to daily drive of Filipino families, ensuring the safety of their occupants and the people around them. 
The Isuzu Advanced Driver Assist System, or ADAS, is different from its competitors at its uses the Smart Duo Cam technology. While other brands are using mono camera, we offer not just one, but two 3D cameras that are constantly mapping the surrounding area, measuring the distance of the vehicle to every obstacle on the road. It's like using a binocular compared to a telescope, giving you a wider depth of field, which is why these models are rated 5-star in the ASEAN NCAP testing. The Enhanced 4x4 capabilities of the Isuzu D-MAX and UX allowed participants to drive over the rocky bed of the Sakobia River with its volcanic ash, muddy water, and debris. Aside from the safety features, this media drive will also highlight the 4x4 capabilities of these new models. Isuzu has always been known for its durability and reliability, and with this latest edition, we even improve it with better underbody protection better handling and suspension. In addition to that, both models have one-piece aluminum drive shaft for efficient power distribution and an onboard clinometer for the hardcore 4x4 enthusiasts, which are first in its class. Isuzu expects the advanced features of the VMAX and the MUX to make them even more attractive to buyers looking for reliable and comfortable family vehicles that can also be used for fun road trips and adventures. Going on weekend adventure or a short time drive like this is the kind of lifestyle that Isuzu wants to promote with these new models. We have upgraded its looks to a new premium styling while keeping its core value of Isuzu's durability and fuel efficiency and now its 5-star safety. We think it's a total package that the family can really enjoy for a very long time. The AutoNation Group, official distributor of Mercedes-Benz vehicles in the Philippines, has rolled out the Mercedes-Benz GLC 200 4Matic. The new GLC arrived looking bigger, sleeker, and sportier with a 4Matic all-wheel drive system, promising an unparalleled driving experience blending power and efficiency. Well, the new GLC, uh, as I said, is the third generation and uh, one of the most uh, top-selling cars in the Mercedes-Benz product portfolio. Uh, we want to continue that success here in the Philippines also, as well as uh, we have that experience on having a good sales globally. And to add to that, uh, we have a lot of uh, good features on the GLC, wherein you have the uh, advanced uh, connectivity, it comes with an electrified uh, technology right now, so it comes with a mild hybrid engine. And in terms of design and size, it got bigger and uh, it had a lot of uh, new features. The Mercedes GLC 200 formatic comes with a 1,999cc inline 4 mild hybrid engine that generates 204 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. It's priced at 5.19 million pesos. Hyundai Motor Philippines is now accepting reservations for the Hyundai Ioniq 6 GLS Long Range at five of its dealerships accredited to distribute the brand's full electric vehicles, including the Ioniq 5. This much awaited development was revealed during the Hyundai Mobility Experience event held at the Mega Mall to celebrate the first anniversary of Hyundai Motor Philippines. The three day event featured a block screening of the movie Spider Man Across the Universe, as well as displays of a full local lineup of the brand's vehicles, including the Ioniq 5 and Ioniq 6. Our main highlight for today's event is actually the Ionic 6 GLS two-wheel drive long range. So today we'll also be announcing its official price, which is 3,798,000. Hyundai is offering great incentives to owning the Ionic 6, a recipient of the Car of the Year Award as well as recognition for best design and best electric vehicle in reputable global institutions. It comes with a five-year, uh, 200,000 kilometer, uh, whichever comes first and also 160,000 kilometer uh, warranty for the battery. And it also comes with a five-year uh, free maintenance services. And it also comes with a free uh, charger. Aside from displaying the full local lineup of Hyundai in the local market, the event offered test drives, freebies for those who come and put in reservations for the Creta, Santa Fe, Stargazer, or Tucson. The Hyundai Mobility Experience also showcased the vehicle-to-load function of the Ionic 5 powering up the on-site ice cream bar and lounge. Those are the latest news and developments. 
in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Ford Philippines rolled out the Next Gen Ranger late last year, touting it as the smartest, most versatile, capable Ranger ever. At the higher end of the Next Gen Ranger, Spectrum is a wild track 4x4. Is it smart, versatile, and capable enough to go against the likes of the Isuzu D-MAX LSE 4x4? Let's subject these two 4x4 top-end pickups and expect the spec compare. The next-gen Rangers, 5,370mm long, 1,918mm wide, and 1,884 mm tall, with a 3,270mm long wheelbase, front and rear track with a 1,620mm and a 235mm minimum ground clearance. The Isuzu D-MAX LSE 4x4 is 5,277mm long, 1,880mm wide, and 1,810mm tall, with a 3,125mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 240mm. The next-gen Wildtrak 4x4 features the new distinctive grille and bumper design with C-clamp matrix LED headlamps and adaptive front lighting system. Also comes with daytime running lights, auto on off headlight with follow me home function, LED fog lamps, high mounted stop lamps, puddle lamps, rain sensing wipers, side view mirrors that power just in full, and 18 inch alloy rims strapped by 25565 R18 tires. Practical features include bed liner, rear box steps, side steps, easy left tailgate, dual front tow hooks, mud flaps, a sport bar, and roof rail. The next gen Ranger also arrived with a bigger cargo bed box at 1,564mm long, 1,584mm wide, and 540mm tall. The Isuzu D Max LSE comes with a thicker cladding, front bumper guard, roof rails, and 18 inch matte dark gray alloy wheel strap by 26560 R18 all terrain tires. The D Max LSE also features bi LED projector type headlamps with automatic leveling and auto on off function. LED daytime running lights, double LED rear combination lamps with light guide, and front and rear fog lamps. Other exterior features include side view mirrors with integrated current light set power just in fold, rain sensing wipers, and step board. Interior comfort and convenience in the Wildtrak 4x4 with smart keyless entry with push button start system. The Wildtrak cabin features premium soft touch materials and an exclusive leather and leather upholstery for seat and trip. The driver's seat power just 8 ways, the front passenger seat manually adjusts 4 ways, the rear bench seat for 3 features a fold down to armrest. The Ranger Wildtrak comes with an 8-inch digital instrument cluster, a platform for a wireless charger, dual USB Type-C and 8 ports, clever storage spaces that include door pockets, upper glove box on the top of the dash, storage bins under and behind the rear seats. Other standard interior features include dual-zone air conditioning system with automatic temperature control, power windows, auto-dimming rear-view mirrors, auxiliary 12-volt power outlets, 230-volt inverter in the second row of the cabin and in the cargo area. The D-MAX LC comes standard with remote car lock and remote start and jet functions. The cabin features leather of covered seats with a driver's seat capable of adjusting eight ways. The second row seat for a three splits and fold 60-40. The leather wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches for audio, phone and voice controls, driver assist systems, and multi-information display. Other comfort and convenience features include electronic power steering, dual zone climate control with vents on the rear console, instrument cluster with 4.2 inch electroluminescent multi information display, and 12 volt accessory outlet. For onboard infotainment, the Wildtrak is equipped with a 12 inch color touchscreen with Ford Sync at 4A system compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus voice command and six speakers. 
Isuzu D-Max infotainment system uses 10.4-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary import, and 8 speakers. A 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine made with a 10-speed automatic transmission capable of maxing out at 200 PS and 500 Nm of torque powers to file track 4x4. Aside from standard 4x4 modes, the Wild Track also features drive modes optimized for various surfaces, road conditions, usage or mood, normal, eco, tow haul, slippery, mud ruts, and sand. The suspension system features double wishbone with coil spring and agile roll bar in front, and leaf springs in the rear. Stopping power comes from ventilated discs on all four wheels. The D-MAX LSC is powered by a 2000cc 4-cylinder turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine that generates 150 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. The LSC comes with a 4x4 drive 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift transfer control switch and aluminum rear drive shaft. The suspension system uses double wishbones at coil spring and high-mounted upper control arm and stabilizer in front and long-span semi-elliptical soft-ride leaf spring in the rear. The brake system features ventilated discs and rear auto-adjust drums. The Wild Track 4x4 comes with a terrain management system and a complement of advanced driver assist technologies. This suite of smart driver assist technologies including, among other things, adaptive cruise control with stop and go in lane centering, lane keeping assist with road edge detection, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, lane keeping aid and lane departure warning, pre-collision assist with intersection, dynamic brake support, driver alert system, evasive steer assist, and auto high beam. The Wild Track also comes with a 360-degree camera that provides multiple views of the large center display, 360 birds eye view and 180-degree front and rear split views. Also for safety, the Wild Track comes with hill launch assist and rollover mitigation, hill descent control, 7 airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control with traction control system, and electric brake booster. Asus who fitted the D-MAX with its Advanced Driver Assist Systems or ADAS. This is a suite of driver assist technologies that include forward collision warning, autonomous emergency brake, adaptive cruise control with manual speed limiter, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and parking aid sensors with 4i rear view camera. Also added for safety are 7 SRS airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and hill descent control. Zoom UX. Take the lead. The Mitsubishi Strata athlete. Confident to the core. Life comes at you fast. If you're brave enough, drive right back at it. Brave the big city or the great outdoors. Brave the carpool or the extra cargo. Brave the unexpected with Honda Sensing. Brave the long road with fuel efficiency to reach your destination. The all new Honda BRV. Brave the next level. Welcome back to Auto Focus the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The rains have come, but the excitement experienced during the Autofocus Summer Test Drive Festival continues to be felt by those who participated in the biggest of such events held in the country. This special feature takes us back to those four exciting days of checking out and test driving the newest and best vehicles in the local market. Thousands of people showed up over the four days of the 2023 Autofocus Summer Test Drive Festival held at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds from May 4 to 7. 
held annually for more than a decade now, save for those unfortunate COVID years. The festival brings together the country's leading car manufacturers and distributors to a single venue to display their best models and offer test drives. Team members from participating auto manufacturers and distributors had their hands full taking care of the visitors at respective booths, crowding the best of what their vehicles offer, guiding them around the course laid out for testing vehicles to showcase their ride and handling performance. It was test drive galore at this year's festival with a near full complement of vehicle lineups from Ford, GAC Motor, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM Motor. This year's festival was presented by Caltex. excited to be part of the Auto Focus Summer Test Drive this year. I think it's great that customers and future car buyers are able to test drive the best quality cars that are out there in the market today. And we at Caltex, we believe in quality, which is why Caltex with Tecron is perfect for these vehicles and the vehicles that you have at home. Many of the brands who've joined the Autofocus Test Drive Festival are back, knowing how the event has helped them reach out to more customers. Most of the participating brands took the opportunity to launch or showcase the newest vehicles in their lineup. Based on past experiences, there's really a lot of inquiries in this event. A lot of people really come here and they really do the test drive process. And it's really a good opportunity for, for us, the manufacturers, the brand, to really showcase what we've got. The people get to ride them and experience firsthand, and definitely it translates into inquiries reservation. Ford is one of the biggest supporters of this test drive event. So we're here to basically give our customers access to our uh, vehicles. No? So basically we have the next generation territory, Ranger and Everest on display and for test drive. Well, as they say, uh, for you to be able to buy your vehicle, you have to test drive it, right? So this has always been a great opportunity and platform for us, for all manufacturers actually, to bring our vehicles closer to our customers, aside, of course, from uh, bringing them in our showrooms. And here, you can actually see a lot of customers really having this um, shopping experience, and hopefully, they can uh, get themselves a Ford vehicle. It's always a pleasure for Honda to participate in activities like this, which truly empowers our motoring public. Here at the Honda booth, our visitors are in for a first-hand experience of Honda's latest models, so they can experience the difference of Honda's advanced tech, uh, the driving dynamics, the comfort features, and our top-notch safety, the Honda Sensing. We are very excited to join this year's Autofocus Summer Test Drive Multi-Brand Festival. We are committed to delivering exciting and innovative products that meet the needs of every customer. Buying a car is a significant investment, and we want to make sure that our customers test drive and experience our products firsthand to help make that decision. We invite you to visit any of our 54 Nissan dealerships nationwide to test drive and experience our latest vehicles, such as the Nissan Patrol, the Navara, the Terra, the Leaf, and the Kick e-Power. We look forward to seeing you behind the Nissan Tool. We have a Mitsubishi for uh, every kind of customer. We have the best-selling MPV in the country, the Expander. We have both the Expander GLS and the Expander Cross, the crossover version of this MPV. We also have the Montero Sport, the Strada, our pickup, as well as the Mirage G4, all available here uh, for test drive. We've been joining uh, the Autofocus test drive uh, for the past six years and we're very happy and satisfied with the results that we've been getting, especially for this year wherein everything is coming back to normal. And for the summer season, we want to be part of their adventure since most people right now are going to their road trips. We're very much excited to showcase our cars here, especially our new Espresso AGS. Uh, the new Espresso AGS has been a clamor from the market ever since it was launched in 2020. Now it's here and it is our first time to showcase the new Espresso AGS to the market. We have our wide range of product offerings available for test drive. So we have our uh, crowd favorite, our Forester, our Fun and Zippy XV, 
and the WRX sedan and the WRX wagon that's available. And also our Evolti's our 7-seater SUV, the largest in the Subaru lineup. Since day one, I mean from day one up to today, I think we've already had around 180 test drive of the BRZ alone. We had several um, reservations from day one to two um, for the XP, Forester, and the BRZ. We have the full lineup. We have the Staria, Stargazer, Creta, Tucson, and for those looking to test drive the Ionic 5, which is also a Triple Crown winner for the World Car of the Year, it's available here. We are yet to launch the Ionic 6 formally here in the Philippines, so this is more of a sneak peek or a, or a preview for the Triple Crown winner Ionic 6. So it won Best Design, Best EV Vehicle of the Year, as well as, as you mentioned, the World Car of the Year. Relative newcomers to the local automotive market also brave competing for attention and sales at arguably the country's biggest multi-brand test drive driven event. Well, we have uh, brought in the Trans Automotive as uh, the distributor of um, Great Wall Motors products in the Philippines. We have brought in two lines. So the Haval is uh, what we call the SUV expert. And we have the GWM pickup line. Um, specifically, our model is GWM Canon. We've specifically um, brought in um, hybrid electric vehicles uh, for two reasons. No? Uh, one is not just to go with the trend, but the other is really to answer the need for um, preserving the environment with less of a, with a smaller carbon footprint. And as, but as we like to say, it's good for the planet, but it's good for your wallet. Um, so it, you save on the fuel um, costs, but you're also contributing to the future of the next Filipino generation. We have the whole lineup available for the market to actually test drive. We, of course, our flagship, we have the GS8, which we launched in January together with the MPOW. Uh, you see here the MPOW in Math Fighter Green. It's not available for test drive, but another variant is available for test drive. It's the same performance, you get the same engine. Both were introduced in January. Then, of course, the latest we introduced to the market just a few weeks ago, during the Manila International Auto Show, the all-new MCU is now being test-driven by a lot of happy customers. So we have that. Um, so three new models. Then, of course, we have our staple, meaning our tested volume driver. We have the GS4, which is basically your SUV uh, competing in that segment wherein people would really want to gravitate towards. And our people mover. It's our GN6 van, uh, which is basically your seven-seater MPV, good for families. Drawing lots of attention and requests for test drives during the festival were hybrid vehicles and full battery electric vehicles, a sign of things to come. Even bigger signs of things to come is the Evo X-Charge booth where WM EVs are showcased and provided for test driving. Evo Xterra is, uh, is the exclusive distributor of the Hongqi brand, WM Motors, and now also the, we're working on uh, get, get, getting the, the BAW car. Uh, aside from EV distribution, uh, it is our um, commitment also to develop the EV charging infrastructure, and that's where Evo X Charge was born. So uh, the commitment now is also to develop that line of business, to create the expertise, supply the hardware, and be able to design and implement uh, EV chargers. Many came to really test and compare the options for the kind of vehicle they plan to buy. Others came to just experience being behind the wheel of their dream rides. Some came out of curiosity about driving hybrids or full electrics. Most ended their stints around the test track with smiles and good things to say about their test drives. Hello sir, good evening. You are driving the GWM Cannon. What is your name sir? Uh, Ralph Alice Gulay. Okay sir, so uh, this is your first time seeing this vehicle, no? Kamusta po yung pagano? Kamusta po yung performance niya? Based on the experience ngayon, maganda yung performance nito. Masyado, maraming ano, mga gamit na high-tech mga features siya na wala sa ibang ano, variant. Tapos yung price point, uh, mura siya para sa dami ng features. So dun, dun po sa mga features na na-experience nyo habang din na-test drive yung vehicle, alin po yung favorite nyo? Panoramic sunroof. It's nice, very nice. Uh, mga lambot siya, sobra. 
And the traction is very good. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now, of course, uh, we have a lot of new um, onboard features for the vehicle. Alin dito yung mga pinaka favorite mo, pinaka naging useful para sa iyo? Uh, yung ko yung eco, kasi syempre yung ano, di ba, yung yung ano na conditions and traffic natin. So yung eco mode is very 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 useful. Bakit po ang uh, Nissan Patrol ang ating test drive? Uh, para po masubukan na kung gaano kaganda yung ka-comfort ang pagsakay ng Nissan po. What are your thoughts about the vehicle on a, uh, on a, on our course? Actually, it's an improved version of the previous Expander course. The ride is much more smoother, the transmission is smoother. It, it's not like the previous Expander when it's mabagal. It's very mabagal. It's really improved. Ano po yung mga nagustuhan yung features na itong vehicle na to na na-experience nyo dahil na-test drive nyo siya ngayon? Suspension po, engine, ang tahimik. At saka sa loob, tahimik din. Okay naman tayo sa space nila sa, sa loob dito, no? Okay. So dahil na test drive nyo na po siya, sir, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, at uh, kung sa halimbawa ay eh, may budget tayo, bibilhin nyo po ba itong territory? Of course, opo. So budget na lang yung asikasuhin natin, no sir? Oo, 10 naman ang rating ko dito. 10 over 10. 10 over 10. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Maraming salamat. Sige po, enjoy your test drive. This is your first time to uh, come across the, the brand, sir. Yes, it was my first time and I'm very appreciated about this uh, vehicle because it was very nice. Alin po dito sa mga features ng vehicle ang pinaka nagustuhan niyo, sir? Uh, about the ano, space. Number one is the space and the second is the engines, the power of the engine. Okay, so which one is your favorite feature from the list of features na na-experience mo habang din test drive yung vehicle? Uh, yung handling talaga niya at yung acceleration. First time sa SUV na na-witness kung ganito kabilis at ang ganda naman niya. So, scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the Toyota Fortuner? 10. 10! There you go. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Enjoy the rest of your test drive. What are your thoughts on the vehicle that you just uh, test drove today? Uh, yeah. Um, I highly recommend this. Uh, uh, since it's a hybrid car, I'm looking for one and also a seven-seater. Um, I like the suspension. Uh, especially when it comes to this kind of roads, uh, you can feel anything at all. Then the response time during takeoff, uh, it's very responsive. Uh, for a car like this, it's very responsive. So is this your first time to be driving a Subaru? Um, yes, but... Okay, so what are your thoughts on this vehicle? Uh, I guess it's fast and responsive. Is this your first time uh, driving a full electric car? Ah, yes. Okay, ano pong makakwento natin tungkol sa experience, sir? Uh, tahimik siya, komportable, malamig ang aircon, uh, maganda acceleration. About doon sa mga nag-organize nito, sobrang clean, sobrang ganda, sobrang hindi siya crowded, saka maayos yung ano, palakad ng mga organizer dito. The Autofocus Summer Test Drive Festival is over, but there is still one more to go. This time, for those who plan to give themselves a new car in December or the new year. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily ride or weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. 
FixStop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Nissan is electrifying the local automotive scene with the launch of the Nissan Kicks e-Power, a subcompact SUV that is perfect in these times of expensive fuel and for the shift toward the electrified future of personal mobility. There's a new entry in the crowded subcompact SUV segment, and it's electrifying. Electrifying not only for its looks, but especially because of its unique powertrain and thrilling performance. The all new Nissan Kicks e Power is a subcompact SUV that is 100% powered by an electric motor, but one that doesn't need plugging in because it is charged by a gasoline engine. You will get an EV like driving performance of smooth and powerful acceleration without range anxiety, and it's very fuel efficient. That in itself should pretty much get everyone excited about the all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power. But it is also quite a looker, a head-turner in a segment already filled with attractive options. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power comes across as a sporty and stylish subcompact SUV. Nissan rolled out the Kicks e-Power with three trim levels from the top-of-the-line VL, the mid-level VE, and the entry-level EL. All the variants look very modern and sporty with Nissan's signature double V motion on its front grille. The sharply angled full LED headlamps with daytime running lights, the full LED tail lamp with comb light finisher, and keyless door entry with eye key switch and 17 inch alloy wheels. The top of the line wheel also gets front LED fog lamps and two tone body color with its black roof. The interior of the Kicks e-Power is where comfort and innovation meet. Black leather trims and abundance of soft touch materials. On the dash, the center console armrest that doubles as storage. The top grade has genuine leather with double stitching for the seats. The mid and the entry grades include a fabric upholstery with single stitching. Also wrapped in leather is the steering wheel of the VL and the VE. All three tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio, hands-free phone and the driver's assist display. The driver and front passenger benefit from the fatigue sapping sneeze on zero gravity front seats that manually slide, recline, and adjust for height. The rear seat splits and folds 60 40. Nissan equipped the Kicks e Power with much of the comfort and convenient features expected in top SUVs intelligent keyless entry, push button engine start stop system, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, and automatic air conditioning. The VL and the V also comes with the Nissan Advanced 8-inch touchscreen display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth for hands-free calling and audio streaming, Type-A and Type-C USB as well as auxiliary port. The VL gets 6 speakers, the VE and EL have 4. The Kicks e-Power's instrumentation looks particularly modern and high-tech, especially with a VL which features a 7-inch TFT display meter and drive computer display for info such as power meter, fuel, drive range, and battery charge. Also cool and quite modern looking is the electronic gear selector with illumination. Both drive, computer display, and electronic gear selector are part of what make the all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power system unique. The electric motor powers the wheels using electricity from a lightweight lithium-ion battery that is charged by a gasoline engine. In essence, the all-new Nissan Kicks is a self-charging EV, electric-driven, gas-charged. The system generates powerful and instantaneous 200 Nm of torque. Power and torque is sent to the front wheels via an automatic single-speed gear reduction transmission system. The Kicks e-Power powertrain also comes with the e-pedal step system that allows the driver, using only one pedal to launch, accelerate and decelerate the vehicle, as well as provide regenerative braking to charge the battery when Eco or Sport mode is active. One can truly experience the performance and handling of a full electric subcompact SUV without having to suffer the inconveniences and difficulties of owning EVs in a country without the necessary infrastructure to support them. 
citing UNR 101 testing. Nissan said the all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power has a combined city and highway driving fuel efficiency of 22 kilometers per liter. This means the all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power can run approximately 900 kilometers on a full tank with a 41 liter capacity. However, actual consumption may vary depending on different driving conditions as well as individual driving style and habits. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power rides and handles much like other sure-footed and comfortable subcompact SUVs as near car-like as can be with the ride height that made such SUVs and crossovers popular. The suspension features front struts and rear torsion beams with stabilizer. Stopping power comes from an all-disc brake system ventilated in front. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power VL comes with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, a suite of advanced driver assist technologies that make every driver safe and more convenient. These features include intelligent forward collision warning, intelligent emergency braking, driver attention alert, hill start assist, and the e-pedal step. The base e-Power EL model is priced very competitively at 1,239,000 pesos. It comes with a 7-inch TFT meter with advanced driver assist display, zero-gravity front seats, hill start assist, and intelligent keyless system. The upgraded ePower VE variant at 1,339,000 pesos is another compelling option that's equipped with intelligent forward collision warning with intelligent emergency braking, 8-inch advanced touchscreen display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, rear parking sensor, and electronic brake with auto hold function. At 1,539,000 pesos, the top-of-the-line ePower VL model is jam-packed with technology and features that make the price worth it. It comes with a complete suite of Nissan Intelligent Mobility Safety features including the Intelligent Around View Monitor with moving object detection that helps in maneuvering in tight spaces, especially during parking, and it also has an exclusive two-tone body color. The VL and VE come with SRS airbags for driver and front passenger as well as side airbags and curtain shield. All three also feature anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, vehicle dynamic control, LED high mount stop lamp, and alarm and engine immobilizer. The all-new Nissan Kicks e-Power provides much of the comforts and conveniences now expected in top and subcompact SUVs as well as advances in driver assist and safety technologies. The Kicks e-Power also provides owners the opportunity to fully enjoy the experience of driving a full electric SUV even as the country awaits the infrastructure to support their use. The Nissan Kicks e-Power makes a good case for being the perfect vehicle for the transition to a future where EVs are king. It's also perfect for these times of expensive fuel. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney and today we're going to be talking about brakes. Car brakes are pretty are simple enough to understand. Step on the pedal, car stops. Not much science, right? The reason it works that way is because modern braking works so flawlessly, everybody literally takes it for granted. Those things that you hear in the news that, oh, bumanga, sumemplang dal, nawala ng preno, that's not true. That almost never happens. Even on a clunky Jeep, if there is brake fluid in there somewhere, that Jeep will stop. So there's no such thing as you lose brakes. No, that's not true. And on all cars now, you have a set of these. This brake. I'll dispel the first myth. Brakes do not stop your car. No. Tires stop your car. Brakes slow your car down. But tires are the ones that do the stopping. That's myth number one. Myth number two. Disc brakes are better than drum brakes. Loaded question, but generally, no. <laughs> They work exactly in the same way and actually in some instances, drum brakes are actually better. That's why you will still see majority of the cars here have disc brakes in the front, drum brakes at the back. Even the newer ones like the Nissan Terra has still drum brakes at the back because it works. It's efficient and it's almost foolproof. <laughs> Alright, myth number three. Nangangalawang yung preno ko eh. Normal ba yun? Yes, it's very normal. The material that your brake disc is made from is cast iron. It has to be cast iron because once this metal gets hot, it becomes somewhat 
malleable and ductile, which causes it to grip the brake pad even more. So it's somewhat sticky in metal terms. It cannot be stainless steel, it cannot be aluminum, it cannot be plastic, it cannot be brass, and it definitely cannot be gold. So yes, if it's iron or bakal, mga and that's perfectly normal. So this is what your stock disc brake looks like. Flat pancake looking frisbee thing. What you'll see most in people put is something like this. Same size as stock, but has dimples, sometimes holes, has these slots. These are referred to as racing brake rotors. Now, the big question, will my car stop better if I put this as opposed to this one? The honest answer, if you're just driving along Metro Manila, no. Your car will not stop faster because you have this. It will look better, but no. It will not reduce your stopping distance in any way. So why bother do you have stuff like this? Well, as the name implies, racing brake discs. This comes into play once you do actual racing. With the slots and the dimples, this is a bit cooler. You will not brake any better because you have this, but it will allow you to stay on the race course longer by a lap, maybe two laps. And that's important in racing before your brake starts to fade and you have to go back to the pits. This is where this comes in. It cools down faster in, an, in a racing environment, but it will also come to a point that it will not cool down no more if you abuse the car too much. So once that happens, your brakes will start to fade, you will start to lose brakes, then that means, okay, time to stop, time to go to the pit, cool down. These are actually the other equation of braking. And if you do want better braking, Easiest and fastest is just, just change one of these things. The brake pads. They're cheap enough, they're plentiful enough, and they're pretty easy to do. You have a set of tools, a couple of friends, you can do this in one afternoon. So we have here different brake pad sizes, and it does not take a genius to see which can brake better. Obviously, the big brake pad versus the small brake pad. And this is where the third part of the equation comes in, the brake caliper. This is your brake pad, this wears down. Its job is to keep wearing down. This is a friction material. This one presses along the disc here, both sides. If you don't have your foot on the pedal, it's slightly gapped like that. But once you press it, it will press down. Then it will cause this to slow down. This gets worn out over time. And the easiest way to see if it needs changing, you just simply take a look at it. You can see through your wheels and through the brake pads. If it goes down to this line, then yeah, time to change. And as this goes down, as it wears down, you will feel your brake pedal get deeper and deeper and deeper. When you change to a fresh set of pads, your brake pedal automatically becomes firm again, just like magic. Now you can buy several different brands of this one. There's of course OEM, there's replacement, there's Japanese replacement, there's Korean replacement, there's brand name performance brake pads. So which should you buy? Get whatever you can afford. It's come to a point that there's no such thing as a bad brake pad. All of them will stop your car. It's just that if you want something better, then you go for the brake pad brands that are known for performance, like Brembo is one that does OEM pads. EBC is another one. Hawk is another one. They have a different compound here that once it reaches operating temperature, allows it to grip the brake this more, causing you to slow down faster. Note I said slowing down, not stop. This is what actually applies the force from your foot down to the brakes itself. You can see these are the two brake pads here. That's the brake disc in there. So this will squeeze down on the brake disc once you press the pedal. This is a four piston caliper. Why is it four? Because there are literally four pistons here. So it's just one, two, three, four. There's four cylinders here. Your normal car has one, maybe two pistons at the most. That's it. This is a big brake setup. Why is it bigger? It's bigger than this standard rotor that's supposed to be for this Civic. And the way that it works, very simple, physics. The longer the distance here, this is basically a lever. The longer the distance, the more force you can generate by applying it on the end. So this is it. That's how big brakes work in essence. And then another myth that is proliferating has to do with big wheels. 
why do all these supercars have big wheels that everybody wants to emulate? It's because the need to house bigger brakes. It's not just because it looks nice and has more grip. No, they have big wheels to so house big brakes. That's the only reason why supercars have big wheels. And on a final note, I always like to say, you can have too much power, but you can never have too much braking. So when do you want to upgrade your brakes? Oh, trust me, you will know the time counts. You will have one or two close calls and it will say, that, oh, I should need to upgrade my brakes already. So there, now you have a better understanding of how your car brakes works and is it worth upgrading the brakes or not? Now you know. That's our feature in Allopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you.